Hello there everybody, Bill Zander here and today we're back with another episode of Mistcraft so I just want to quickly say that I'm really sorry for last time and not uploading because um, it's been really hot in England as you know and well let's just say my computer was not liking the heat and well let's just say that it just wasn't like liking the heat I don't know how the way I could say that really um, so it was overheating luckily today some compressed air turned up and I cleaned it all out and now it works like a charm it's probably just a dust build up of some sort um, along with the heat just made it not work so today um, I'm going to be collecting some resources for the base um, now I'm still not really 100% on what theme I'm going to be doing I'm pretty sure I'm going to do military but I also really want to make like a palace like a nice cool stone palace so I think if I make one of those and then militarize it I think that'd be really cool and a great way I don't know I, I just feel like it'd be really just cool so while I'm mining in the background I'm going to be doing a QA. and a now I asked you guys on the discord link is in the description if you're not in it uh, to send me some messages and three people popped up or actually a lot more did but these guys sent some really good questions about seven or eight people popped up it was great um, but these guys they sent the favorite so favorite question sorry I completely just had a brain fart and it is hot um, I'm just in my leather chair regretting life for getting a leather chair in this heat um, but yeah let's just uh, so I need to collect basically just a bunch of everything now last episode I did record something but then it decided to um, well actually it was my fault human error um, we basically recorded it, or well, I don't say, know why we say we, I did, I recorded it and then um, apparently I probably pressed the numpad plus somewhere in it and it completely just, it recorded like two minutes of like the 20 minute episode I recorded, so uh, it was uh, awkward, um, but now I have full enchanted gear and a nice pick and a nice sword, uh, that's all what basically happened in the last video but anyway with the first question we have from Rex he's a friend of mine he's a staff on one of the servers I am staff on uh, survival state um, he asked me what's the specs of my PC I'm gonna say I'm gonna be honest I don't really know uh, this PC it's just a bunch of parts I've like upgraded it every once in a while um, so it's basically just a huge mis mi like mismatch of parts it's horrible I'm probably gonna be upgrading it summertime I'm gonna be trying to save up some money do some jobs and all of that and hopefully I can get a much better PC from doing all of that stuff um, my favorite game at the moment is definitely Minecraft um, I'm loving it it's uh, this new update it's added so much and I'm honestly I'm just in love with it once again um, but Obviously, you guys probably expected that answer, so probably my second favourite game at the moment is, um, oh, I'm not sure, it's probably Ravenfield, I'm really liking that, um, it's like this crazy, uh, game of just running around and shooting stuff, and it is crazy, there's like millions of bots, it's really cool, it's a great game. Uh, my favourite game of all time is probably Fallout 4, um, I know it's a recent game, so it's a bit weird, but I just adore the game. I know it's not, some people say it's not as good as uh, Fallout 3 and stuff, but I found Fallout 3 just a little bit picky um, with all speech and stuff. Now, I guess it's because I'm used to Fallout 4, it being just charisma for speech and stuff, but um, I don't know. I, I, I just really like Fallout 4. I like the builds you can make. I like. I really like the settlement building, even though I never went with the Minutemen. I actually, that's the only people I haven't finish the campaign with is the Minutemen, only because Pest, uh, Preston Garvey just gets on my nerves, like, on my last playthrough, Brotherhood of Steel of course, um, I basically just uh, didn't even like go to the sanctuary again, like I finished the quest, I got my power armour and then I never did it again. <laughs> I haven't spoken to him, I haven't even gone back to Sanctuary, oh, actually I think I did to pick up Codsworth when I got Ultimatron, but anyway, that's besides the point, favourite game of all time, Fallout 4, favourite game at the moment, Minecraft and Ravenfield, um, new games I want to try out, uh, there's not really any to be honest, um, oh I'm not, <sighs> now 
I don't have a HTC Vive, but one game, if I ever was to get one, is Fallout 4 VR, obviously. Because I just, I don't know, I just imagine looking up and seeing a huge Liberty Prime just standing there. That's just such a cool idea for me. And I genuinely just love the idea so much. Because um, it makes it, it really gives you like immersion and stuff, right? So, I don't know, I just love that idea, so that'd probably be the game I want to try if I was lucky enough, and if I was in the financial situation to get a Vive, that's definitely what I would try out. So our next, um, our next question, sorry, uh, it's from Assidua Batman, I think that's how you say it, Assidua, that's how I've always said it, and I've said it for like half a year now, so I hope I'm not wrong. Um, He's asked me a really great question, and it is, what motivates you to do YouTube? And in all honesty, it's the community, right? So my Discord, I absolutely love my Discord. It might not be the most, like the most active thing in the world, but I love all of the people in there. Um, and it, it's just, it's like getting the community. It's like getting people who know you and getting to know them. It's just such a, it's just such a nice thing, and uh, I love it. Um, so that's definitely the main thing which motivates me to do YouTube is the community and you guys. Uh, I know like every single YouTuber probably says that, but I mean they have a point. It's it's lovely. So our next question, uh, sorry that was like a quick answer, but it was just a very straightforward answer for me. It's the community. I love you guys. Um, so our next question is from Strings and he asked me do I love him? You're alright, I guess. I mean, sure. I'm not into guys, but I guess you're alright. <laughs> but um, his real questions were, what was your reaction to joining Mr. Craft, which is the server I'm on right now, obviously. And honestly, I didn't believe it, because um, at the time, the only Minecraft video I had on there, I believe, was the Tower of Trees, and I have to admit, like, I don't want to blow my own trumpet. Um, but that was a really good video. I'm really proud of that. That's like one of the best videos I've ever made. And um, I don't know. I I think that's probably why I got in is because of that video. Because once again, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but it was a really good video. Um, I'm really proud of it. But so it was just my reaction because I was just like, wow, I actually got in. Um, I wasn't expecting it because obviously, like. Um, since the first season of Mr. Craft, so many people have just exploded. Family Craft Dad, he made that Hobbit build and got like half a million views. Oh, actually, I don't think it was as many as that, but his new song did actually get like half a million views, I think. Um, so these guys, they're big, and I'm just like this pathetic little YouTuber. <laughs> just sitting here, mining, just talking, and it's just great to be part of this community. So I was, I was really surprised, and I just... Uh, knocked over my smart water. Whoops. Um, and he also asked me, would you rather have 10 million instant subs, or would you rather have, or would you rather stay this size? And uh, I know some people will hate me for saying this, but I'd rather have 10 million subs if I could keep the community that I have now. Um, 10 million subscribers would put me on the forefront of YouTube, which means I could build an even better community and reach out to much more people, which means I could. You know, build a better community, like, you guys are great, but if it was you guys times 10 versus you guys, I'd obviously have 10 of you guys, because it would just be perfect, it's like 10 times the amount of perfect. So, definitely 10 million subscribers, even though some people would say I'm greedy for asking for that, I would definitely choose 10 million subscribers, if it came along with views, if it was just 10 million inactive people, then, well, I'd, just, I'd still be the same as I was now, really, just with more subscribers because I still wouldn't be getting views because no one would be watching them. Um, but yeah, hopefully I answered your question well, Strings. Um, hold on a second, I can see into the world. <laughs> That's not right. Um, but yeah, definitely 10 million um, so I could build a better community and a larger community and just, I don't know, reach out to more people. Like I could help more people. Um, I like to think that my videos help people, they probably don't, they probably make them even worse, but I like to think that someone would watch my video, enjoy it, and be like, you know what, I'm happy now, like, I would love that, if someone did that, it's my job done, really, so, 
yeah. Anyway, on to the next one. Um, most of you know I have an absolute love for fantasy and dwarves, and Assidua Batman once again asked me, um, what is the origin for your love for dwarves and fantasy? And, in all honesty, it's World of Warcraft. Um, I instantly, well, when I first got World of Warcraft, I think it was start of Cataclysm, end of Wrath of the Lich King, I instantly fell in love with it. I don't play it anymore. I, I, I've been looking at the new expansion, right? But, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not too keen on it, really. It's, I don't know. It's just, I, hmm. If I did more research into it, I'd probably fall in love with it, but I haven't. So I guess it's my fault, really, but I don't know. I just don't like the look of it as much as Legion and stuff, because when I joined, which was Cataclysm, um, the people were coming together, right? The Horde and Alliance, they were still coming together. They, um, they just fought, like, the Lich King kind of together, I guess. Not really. I mean, they did, like, have a battle on airships, but you know what I mean. It was like, hmm, you know? Anyway... Um, so I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. I know a lot of people love it, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'll probably try it out. Um, look, like, watch, uh, Chinglish TV, and probably Wreckful. Is it Wreckful? It's not Wreckful who plays it. I have not watched Twitch streamers in a long, long time. Um, but definitely, oh, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's where my love of dwarves comes from. It's from that uh, my first ever character was a human hunter, which I still use today. His name's Bill. Surprise. Um, but then I made a dwarf warrior called Meef, um, and he's been my main since... Uh, actually, that's not true. He's been my main in Legion. But all of my characters have been dwarves after the first human hunter. And I just, I just really like them. They're just like... They drink a lot. They dig a lot. What's more to love, honestly? <laughs> anyway, on to the next one, which is our final set of questions for today. It's going to be a pretty short episode, but that's because it's just a QA. and a um, It'll take quite a while to edit as well, I presume. Um, so, anyway, I keep I keep doing this. I keep like going back and forth. Um, so, Rex asked... Um, what do I have for breakfast? I, I normally don't have breakfast, um, in all honesty. Um, I don't know, I just don't really like breakfast. It, uh, mm, I know you're supposed to have it, but I just, it's just not for me. Um, I just don't really enjoy it. So normally I don't have breakfast. Um, I do like chocolate, though. Who doesn't, right? Except from people who are like, allergic to chocolate. They probably don't like it as much. Um, but, anyway. Um, so... My favourite chocolate bar, he asked to be specific, so um I'm gonna have to be specific. Uh, it's Cadbury's Dairy Milk, like Caramel Bar. I don't know exactly what it's called, I think it's just called Caramel Bar. Um, it's really nice, and he, he's also asked me um, a fab thing about chocolates, probably the caramel, like surprise, but he didn't expect that one. Um, but I don't know, I, I like it. Uh, I don't have chocolate that much, really. Um, I don't really eat unhealthily, I'd like to say. I have the odd chocolate here and there, but I don't really devour it. Um, but that's that's the one I choose if I'm at, at a shop, and I'm like, you know what, I want something sweet. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, so the last question of all is... Um, <sighs> personal opinion about flamingos because this guy is it very much a love for flamingos um think of it what you want um doesn't really affect me so i, I mean i don't mind it's actually pretty funny he always posts pictures of his flamingos in um the discord and i don't know it makes me laugh so um flamingos are pretty cool i mean i've seen them before in real life they, they, I don't know, they're just like, they're just cool, I guess. I mean, they're just birds, aren't they? They're just big birds which stand up on one on leg, and they're pink. I mean, it's probably like the worst 
opinion in the world, but uh, they're all right, I guess. Um, they're all right. Let's just let's just end it with that. They're all right. So we're just gonna head back, and I actually haven't done much to this at all, really. Um, oh Jesus! Oh my God! <laughs> it's a bit overgrown. I like that though. I really do like that. I mean, it's very overgrown, admittingly, but I do like it. Um, we're gonna have to cut back on it soon, but I like it. I like it. Um, so what else did I do? I've done nothing basically. I went to the uh, end portal, picked up my gift. I think I did that last one, and it was like cake. Um, it's like cake, cods, diamonds. It was like uh, just a really nice gift, and. Um, so I'm sure a certain member of the community is very confused at why he keeps getting something. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go head over there and we're going to do it. So then if he does watch this video, then he's like, "Oh no, Bill Zander's been getting me non-stop." Um, so I do just need to find a bit of cod, raw cod, preferably. Maybe it was cooked cod, which I was putting in there. I'm gonna guess it was cooked. Um, all right, let's just put that in there then. <laughs> um, maybe we can go to the uh, Blaze Farm as well and rename it like "Sorry, Love from Bills" <laughs> or something, because I've just been placing one in there like every other day, and he's probably really confused um, at why he keeps getting random bits of cod. Um, if I can find my, all right, you know what? We're just gonna make a new one. We're not very efficient over here, but oh well. Who cares? Not the environment. Right, let's go. So we're just going to have to go over to um, Bengal Industries, which is Arch, Googly, and Bendo. And then we're going to use their ne Neverfault tool to hop on over to, uh, to the place. So I'm pretty sure it's this way. Like, what way is it? like east I guess so let's go over there um, so now I can just have a talk to you now it's gonna be like a 20 minute video which is good length um, honestly I've really enjoyed doing YouTube lately because I'm getting responses now my last Mistcraft video didn't do as well um, but that's good I think because that means the people who normally watch my videos probably aren't watching them which means only new people are watching my videos and we've nearly hit 50 subscribers as well which is crazy because I've been doing YouTube for like what three months I mean that's quite a long time right but I haven't been doing it every single day right so I'm, I'm really happy honestly about the whole YouTube situation at the moment um, it's been great it's been really good I've loved it so it's gonna head over to their base now now their base I haven't seen it for like a week because my computer just wasn't working but I'm really excited to see this actually um, hopefully fingers crossed um, something new will be there because um, last time when I was there there was like this really cool like palm tree area um, now I think um, they haven't been on much maybe it's because of the heat wave potentially it would make sense but no they definitely have something new over there look at that there's like huge trees I think they're spruce trees right um, look at this I love this whole area it's such a nice area um, so yeah they've got some spruce trees um, but, man, I just love Mr. Craft at the moment. Let's see if they've done anything down here. Uh, fingers crossed they have, because I absolutely love down here. I'm going to have to borrow one of their beds, I think. Uh, no, I'm going to go in the nether. Oh, look at this. They've added, like, a stream. That's nice. Oh, so they're terraforming the whole inside. That's one hell of a feat. So, good luck, guys, on that. That's going to be really cool when it's done. Um, this makes my base feel, like, so bad, because my base is literally just a pre-made structure. Um... <laughs> Uh, they've also made like a huge villager trading area over here as well, but we'll see that on another episode. They also seem to be building something up there. Um, so yeah, maybe they have actually been on quite a lot, but just not in this area. So we're just going to go over there. Now I'm lagging a little bit, but I think it's because all the mobs are spawning. Um, I can't wait for Optifine to be out so we can actually use this. Um, so this is like all of their uh, like teleports to their different areas of their base. Um, but we're just going to head over here. Now we're going to go to the blaze farm. That's how I enchanted all this gear, the blaze farm. So whoever made that, honestly, thank you so much. Because that's been so useful to me. It's been insane. Um, but let's just head over there. Uh, it's quite a quite a trek, actually, isn't it? Jeez. 
Um, now I wish I had a separate. Com I actually do have a separate computer, um, which can just process stuff, and I probably could do that. But oh, I don't know. My other computer, it's it's very old, and I feel like don't know. Um, it's through this portal. I don't know what's up with this, but I'm guessing this is actually where um, Jam's base is. Is through that portal there. Um, I also got some Neville Wolf from down here, I replanted it, it should be fully grown now. Um, that's community shop, here it is, Blaze Farm, over here. And what's this over here? Oh, is this where you can like, look down? Oh, that's pretty cool, that's really cool actually. Um, now I don't want to interrupt anyone down here. Um, no one's down here, luckily. Um, but let's rename this, let's name this like... Um, pranked from Bills. Like, it wasn't really a prank, but... But, you know, I guess it's something now. Oh, is this all full of blaze rods? I'm going to take some. Um, only because I need to do a bunch of smelting. Um, when we get back. Uh, I could do it here, actually, potentially. Um, but I'm basically... Maybe I'll even record it, actually. Just making a, a small hopper setup. Um, I also added in some fences. Uh, some Sorry, some signs. Which just tell us where the Never Hub is. Um, and... So, so you know like what way you're going. I did that, I'm proud. Um, I think someone actually moved them, which makes sense because they were in a bad position before. But it's still my idea, haha. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's uh, head over here and let's go put it in Arch's chest. Now some of these people still have, is this... Oh look, I've got something. Ooh. Now that is a surprise. Let's see what I've got. I've got some coal. Maybe Arch knows it was me. Or is it a happy face maybe? I like it though. Whatever it was, I like it. It's like a happy face. Now, what did uh, Bendo has still hasn't opened his stuff? Now, I think he's uh, on holiday at the moment, so it's on. Uh, it like makes sense. But um, I'm gonna end up the video here. It's been a long video. It's been a fun video though. I've actually really enjoyed making this one. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Uh, good job, Arch. I got you. And uh, <laughs> bye bye.